Hello guys. Hello guys. You're welcome back to my channel. Hello guys. You're welcome back to this channel today. I want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, the returning subscribers and the new subscribers and those who are tuning in for the first time. This channel is about faith, it's about lifestyle and everything else that you can do, especially when you find yourself, you know, locked down for the third time, you know, going. Okay, having said that, uh, I just want to get into the gist of today. Now, is it a gist? Well, it's a very sad, you know, gist. Can you imagine? Sad gist. Yes, it is. Um, I've been hearing a lot of news as in it's really coming home of um, people dying of pandemic of COVID-19 and it is not really a palatable news even though I haven't got anybody really close to me but I have had near miss experiences of people and it just you know brings to mind how difficult times we are living in it's a new time new era new beginning new start and we just need to ad adapt and adjust ourselves to this new era new era is a time of new beginning where it's a time of you know serious changes a new era uh, could be seen in the times of um, you know Moses when he was born and he was raised up in the palace and eventually he ran away and came back as a shepherd to deliver the people of Israel that marked the beginning of a new era. When Jesus Christ was born as well, it marked the beginning of a new era because he came to deliver his people. I want to liken the pandemic that we're going through now uh, to the uh, time of new era. It's a time of new beginning, a time that we need to adjust ourselves. You know, so we're in 2021, but we need to get used to the fact that this is the new so in this new era, we need to acclimatize, if I can use that word, we need to adapt, we need to adjust, we need to kind of review, we need to start afresh, we need to, you know, um, you know, begin to do things in a different Most of us are putting our hope um, on the fact that the vaccine will help. But from the way things are going, we know that we can't even really depend on the vaccine at the moment. Yes, it might help to some extent but there's still a lot to know and to find out about it. However, in the midst of this, a lot of people are dying, but I want us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. I want us to put our trust in God. I want us to readjust ourselves and begin to do what we need to do to keep ourselves you know, um, safe. Um, let's learn to continue to uh, keep social distance. When you go out, even if other people are not keeping the social distance, you make sure you keep social distance wear your mask not because you know um you are immune to this to the pandemic but you know and not just because of yourself but wear it because of others and also um this pandemic period had given us the opportunity to see and to explore alternative ways of doing things so those are positive in the midst of negative <laughs> This is 2021 and um, we've started on the same note. There's a, a lot of people dying, an increase in the number of deaths in this part of the world and in other parts of the world, um, the death is spiking up. But I want to encourage you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His mind. Do not give in to fear. Psalm 46 tells us, God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in trouble we need to use God as our refuge we need to run to him we need to hide in him and we need to draw strength from God and we need to remember he is our present help when we're in trouble uh, this 2021 is also a time of trouble I know a lot of us have put our hope on the vaccines and we're trusting that it will work we don't know how it will work out, but our hope is not just in the vaccines. Our hope is in the Lord God Almighty. Our hope is not in our wisdom. Our hope is not in the multivitamins that we're using. 
Our hope is not in the washing of hands and social distancing alone. Our hope is not just in the wearing of masks. Our hope, our help comes from God. And therefore, I want to encourage you to put your mind on God, to draw closer to Him, to trust Him, to draw your strength. Psalm 46 tells us that because God is our refuge and God is our strength and our help, we will not fear even though the earth be removed and even though the mountains be moved into the midst of the sea. You can see that the scripture is talking about a shift in the atmosphere. And you and I can see that there is a shift in the atmosphere of the world with this pandemic. And therefore we need to understand that when there is a shift, not only do we adjust physically, we also need to adjust spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. As you go about adapting to the situation that we find ourselves, to the new era, the new beginning, the new things, you know, that is happening around us and in the world of, of today. We want you to know that you have a helper, God, who is your refuge, your strength. Thank you for watching this video. It's a video of encouragement, and I would like you to kindly subscribe to my channel, share the video so that it can encourage other people, and press the notification bell as well so that I can uh, notify you immediately a new video is posted.